It's update time. Good Monday morning to everybody. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys got a little bit of outdoor time and some vitamin D and some sunshine. Had a little fishing, hopefully, in your lives. This is what we've got going on this morning. I want to get to everything that you see in front of you. I've got a few things that are going out, so I want to get to those first. Included in that would be these. I've got eight of these headed out to Greg this morning. These are the half ounce traps. Um, he asked for specific colors, and I was happy to get those to him. So we've got some striped bass, a little fire tiger action. This is one of my... Molly, I'm filming. I am. What is that? What are you doing? All right, give me a second. Sorry, guys. She likes to play in the mornings. Um, this is the fire tiger one. It's my own cut stencil. It's hand cut. Most of the stuff that I use is... And I love fire tigers this time of year, especially in a little bit of stained or muddy water. We also have a fire shad with that real dark back, the mossy green back, and my twist on their Rayburn Craw. So I'm not going to take those out of the boxes. They are packed and shipped and ready to go. I've got some other stuff that have come out. Um, we've got a couple of these little dark holographic foiled shad, the blackback shad. Molly's going to continue to play and we're going to let her do it. Why not? It's a, it's a beautiful morning here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is the firebug. So Greg headed out to you this morning on the wiggle warts. So that was fun. Also did the firebug on a little John which is a very effective pattern this time of the year. Good spring pattern. Got another one of these going out this morning. Now this is on that 62-5A. I tested a bluegill, um, a citrus gill, over the weekend when I was uh, with Richie and CJ. And uh, man, <laughs> these things swim good. So if you're looking for a reliable, awesome maybe six foot max depth but this thing will pop back up it's a fairly quick rise so you can run it right over the grasses um when those when those fish are staging like we found over the weekend i'll get i'll get the fishing video from the double x boat up as soon as possible hopefully sometime in the next couple of days but i definitely wanted to get you this stuff this morning this is on uh, a finesse trap now this is a quarter inch or i'm sorry a quarter ounce quarter inch you can tell that uh you know i'm on my first cup of coffee y'all so bear with me this is a half ounce we've got that winter readier i'd, I'd say winter to mid-spring but these are all on the website www.jekyllbaits.com good stuff And then also we have that molten lava. And this is part of an existing order that's going to be finished up today. I would love to get on the water today, but that's unfortunately probably not going to happen because we are knee deep in orders and you guys are the most important part of my life. So you always come first. This is a kaleidoscope. I, I normally don't get a chance to, uh, to get this pattern out, but it's an order, and I love spraying these kaleidoscope craws. This is on the specialty line on the website at Jekyll Bates. And this is on that little DT pressing in the three colors that's available. Orange and blue nose, the red, and uh, I tell you, this, this is probably my favorite of all time, that green-blue. Man, this is pretty. So, so pretty. I've got a, something else that I haven't shown you yet, but this is a little holographic foiled in a half-ounce trap with those really cool eyes. This represents either a molting pattern or we have a lot of little pickerel in our rivers. And this is a munchable bait. I love throwing lipless in the spring as well. 
just all kinds of good stuff going on. This is that uh, 1.5 and that Norfolk Craw. Most of the stuff is available on the website, so go check it out, go take a look. And something that I'm throwing just for me, um, but I wanted to, uh, this is an older one, but I wanted to show it because I haven't shown it in quite some time, but if you have in the bodies of water that you fish, trout, let me tell you what, bass love to munch trout. They're high in fat content. It's a great meal for, for a bass. And uh, I highly recommend grabbing yourself a trout pattern. Very effective. Very, very, very effective. I've got a couple more that I want to show you guys. And um, I wanted to make sure that it was okay to do that. But from time to time, I get some patterns uh, in the mail as a, hey, can you test this out? What do you think about this? And I really love to review these and throw them. So I'm going to go throw these this week. And they're from PT Customs. So thanks for the, thanks for the, uh, the, the freebie here. I really appreciate that. Um, these are cool looking. These are outstanding. Now he, he hand turns these. These are all wooden. And uh, I love this shad pattern. Big fan of that. I'm probably going to throw it sometime this week when I can get out of the workshop. He uh, sent me four of these. Uh, I gave one to pro staff CJ Wilson and one to pro staff Richie Black. So they're going to throw the fire out of them and give me a report and I'm taking these two personally and definitely going to throw these. So cool looking. Very cool. Can't wait to see how they react on the water. Last but certainly not least, if you guys haven't checked out the latest spray session, this is an MTB exclusive. It's the Bagley Flat Balsa B2. It came in a black back um, chartreuse pattern. A uh, very simple pattern, one that's probably similar to, this is more what it looked like as far as the pattern. It had a little red splash on the gill plate, but you know me, I like to change things up and, and teach you guys some of what I know. So this is the pattern that we chose to recreate and it's now ready to go. I'm probably going to auction it off some point this week on the Jekyll Bates page on Facebook. So stay tuned for that. And because I've had like lots of response, I put out a workshop update not that long ago, uh, one, one day last week, where this, this was the pattern uh, on a different bait. As a matter of fact, you guys wanted to see the bait, so let me show that to you guys that won the Johnston Lure Contest, which again, shout out to Johnston, and I can't wait to get more of these toothaches. And uh, this is the winning pattern. So just really, really cool baits. They have two unique baits. This is their toothache. And they, it's a unique patented blank that they do. Now, most of the stuff that they're tailored to are musky and big pipe. Big Toothy Critters, and Johnston Lures is a Canadian-based company, and we give them props whenever we can. And they're going to be sending me a whole bunch of blanks here, which I'm pretty excited to get. This was the uh, brook trout that I painted, which was really cool as well. But that one won, and you guys have been asking and asking and asking to see it because I forgot to put the screenshot up. So insert screenshot here. But this is the actual bait that won. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I always love having you guys around the shop with me. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the patterns. And uh, we're probably going to put the fishing video up next from the Double X boat. So Jason, stay tuned for that. Richie, stay tuned for that. And after that's probably going to be another spray session. In the meantime, there's some orders. So let me get back to it. You guys have a fantastic week and we'll see you on the next one. Happy casting.